Hi everyone, this is a video tutorial on the dehydration of a secondary alcohol without a carbocation rearrangement. So if we take a look at the basic setup, we have our secondary alcohol, we have POCl3, sometimes called POCL, or its proper name is phosphorus oxychloride. We'll also need pyridine at a temperature of 0 degrees Celsius. When we have this combination here, we can form our alkene. So the reason that there's no rearrangement that happens in this reaction is because we'll follow the E2 elimination, which never actually forms a carbocation. Additionally, this is favorable because it's milder conditions to run a reaction at than the counterpart, which is the sulfuric acid and a lot of heat. So let's take a look at the mechanism. Okay, so let's take a look at the mechanism. So over here we have our alcohol group. So as always, the first step is to activate that alcohol group so we're able to push it out later. So over here, our O with its lone pairs will come and attack the phosphorus. Remember that these two make a really strong bond because they have good orbital overlap. When the O attacks the P, that's going to cause the chloride group to get kicked off, so it's going to take its electrons with it. That's going to form this over here. Now, in order to prevent this from reverting back to the original conditions, our pyridine is placed into the solution. This pyridine will come and deprotonate that O, causing this group here to become a very good leaving group. So now, the next step is in this dehydration an E2 step. So our pyridine group once again will come and it will deprotonate this carbon group here. Once that proton has been removed, these electrons will drop to form a double bond between these two carbons. And the formation of that double bond will precipitate the departure of this group over here. So now at the end of this, we've formed our alkene and these two byproducts.